Yo everyone, well going. Hope you guys are doing awesome. But if you haven't heard, Boruto has returned. Not the anime as some persons would have hoped, but specifically the manga with a fresh coat of paint. Boruto 2 Blue Vortex kinda sounds a bit I don't know. I might <laughs> It might still might take me a while to get used to that name, but anyway, the point is the Boruto manga has returned and similar to back in the day when, you know, you were transitioning from Naruto to Naruto Shippuden or Naruto Part 1 to Naruto Part 2, the time skip that a lot of persons have been talking about is finally here and we have a three year time skip at that. And yeah, today, or at least as of this recording, today was the official release of the first chapter of Two Blue Vortex, which of course sees the, you know, the characters and their lives three years after the major incident that happened in the, well, <laughs> not even just in the Leaf Village, but the entire world where Boruto Uzumaki, the main character, had his life switched with Kawaki and has become a rogue fugitive from not just the Leaf Village, but the entire ninja world, so to speak. And he ended up leaving the village with Sasuke. And now this first chapter has culminated in Boruto returning to the village. And it's interesting because it's a stark contrast to how Naruto returned to the village during his time skip, right? You know, a bit more peaceful, so to speak. So a bit of distinction between, you know, father and son and their respective time skips there. But, you know, I'm here. This isn't necessarily a review. If you're interested in, like, my more in-depth thoughts, so to speak, you can definitely check out my reaction review to the chapter, which I streamed, well, today, as of this recording. <laughs> but, yeah, it was honestly a nice return to form nice awesome chapter in terms of the piercing seeing the new designs of the different characters having boruto come in at the end of the chapter and you know villains quote unquote who could use some more work but i mean certain persons actually making their move and attacking the leaf village ending up in a three-way standoff between kawaki boruto and code and honestly, at this point, when it comes on to this video, I'm really kind of interested in seeing what more of the community is thinking or with their impressions or what they thought of this first chapter of Boruto. Because, all right, let's be honest, if we're really checking like Manga Plus, right, which is where I usually read the chapter when it officially releases, um, right now, as it stands, Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, even though this is day one, it still isn't in the top 10, much less when it comes on to, you know, Manga Plus's rankings. I'm still kind of curious how these numbers work. Are they over like the last 24 hours? Any of you guys that are more knowledgeable on this matter, you can let me know in the comment section. But yeah, even right now, it's it's still not in the top 10. It hasn't surpassed his, like, it's, it's a predecessor. It's, um... It's prequel series, so to speak. So, uh, I don't know what's that same for the community. Granted, when it comes on to its prequel series, Boruto Naruto Next Generations, it could be a case that some persons might be now rereading or catching up um, to the manga or just reading the latest chapter before moving, well, the last few chapters of Boruto Naruto Next Generations before moving to Two Blue Vortex. So, it should be interesting to see how the numbers fluctuate over the next day or two when it comes on to this new Boruto manga or sequel series. Can't we, we can no longer say Boruto chapter 81, unfortunately. So, there's that. But yeah, the time skip is here, fam. And of course, with the chapter, we had like so many questions, which I'll try to do discussion videos here and there about. But you know, keeping it kind of surface level, I mean, like stuff like where's Sasuke? I mean, who gave code his scar? You know, what happened over the last three years in the village? How did certain characters interact during the, the, that, that time? Or even. The whole over the, the, the looming question is that okay, we have the situation now, but for the long term of this series, like how much longer is it going to go, and what are we going to do outside of persons like Code as antagonist and the Tentils that's in the background, so to speak? I'll, well, in addition to you know the, the, the whole Tentils army, the Claw Grime army, so you know, questions like that, which I think I thought was actually good on the chapter, has us asking questions. Um, definitely love that kind of keeps us engaged and to at least helps us to tune in when it comes on to the chapters that are to come but yeah 
let's kind of dive into Twitter, funny enough, right? And see what persons are actually saying. And, you know, funny enough, you know, Boruto as a hashtag or whatever the case may be is actually trending for me at the moment. So let's see what persons are actually saying about this chapter. So we have Naruto explained here. Who is basically bringing up what I was just bringing up in terms of the, in the numbers on Manga Plus's website. Um, so there's that. Of course, Naruto explained his posting so much. Wow. This man cool dressed up like a preacher and talking all greasy in the chapter. Only for Boruto to not just step on this man's face, but step on the exact spot of his scar. If Boruto gave this man this scar, Boruto a menace. <laughs> True. And you know, it, that, that might be the case for real. That Borto was the one that gave him the scar, given that, yo, he intentionally stepped on the side that Code had his scar. So that could be the case as well. Just further, you know, further, I guess, breadcrumbs, further things to entice us for, you know, just wondering, like, what happened over the time skip? We gotta stay tuned, all of that. So that, that's gonna be interesting. All right, this scene now. Look, Borto's scene was hype, no doubt, and definitely dis disrespectful like Sasuke's entrance. However, Sasuke pulling up on the Kage and staring down Danza just hit different, especially when you realize Obito sabotaged him and the cutting of the nation's flags too. This is true, Borja inheriting that disrespectful energy from Sasuke when Sasuke thought he was the baddest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> Alright. Yo, Naruto x is really posting a lot. They're really out here taking turns whipping Code's ass in the Boruto manga. I'm gonna need Himawari to bust his ass next. If Ko don't at least get one win, he's going down as a failure as a villain. So <laughs> man get the three piece kick. <laughs> Stupid. Yo, and it's understandable because yeah, like Ko like to be honest, and you know persons have said this, the, the antagonists are villains in Boruto. I I I arguably are like inferior in terms of impact to the Naruto villain, so to speak. And right now, Code, I don't think he's really doing it as the antagonist for a lot of person, so to speak. But is that, you know, giving it the benefit of the doubt, is that necessarily a problem right now when I think about it? Because really and truly, even though Code is the villain or antagonistic force, it, it seems more like interpersonal, you know, dilemmas in terms of how to deal with, you know, the villains in the series is the real selling point. So maybe the villains don't necessarily have to be, yo, like PNR Madara in terms of how they really rock the fandom or, you know, the kind of impression they leave on the fandom. But, you know, no matter how you slice and dice it, if you have a bad antagonist or a villain that's not really, you know, cutting the bread, cutting the mustard, cutting the cheesecake... Um, for the audience, then you can't really blame them, honestly. You can't blame people for, like, calling it out. Um, yo, let, let's see something outside that Naruto explain, dog. This man is literally just, like, like... This man is the only one posting. Oh, hold on. Boruto must have been through the worst three years of his life for him to look like this. <laughs> Possibly. The man just... Yo... I'm just fed up right now. I'm just tired of the foolishness. Drogon isn't canon and Boruto won't use it in the manga. Fun fact, Kishimoto and Kodashi themselves wrote and supervised this episode about Teneri and the Drogon. Um, hold on, I'm kind of dropping back these earphones. So, you know, I'm gonna probably make a prediction. That, um... Hold on, let me adjust these. Kimi no Hitomi Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna probably make a prediction that maybe we might actually see the Jogan in Chapter 2 of Two Blue Vortex. That, that could be the case, honestly speaking. Just to see Boruto, like... People are already making, like, animations? It's ridiculous, bro. No, no. This is insane. Well, I did. What's up? Bro. <laughs> No. Bro, it's crazy to me that persons are actually already making animations, but you feel one of these earphones is actually. Um, 
um, people saying Boruto is too edgy now. What do they expect of him? Not like everyone does remember he's Naruto's son. They think he killed his parents. He's got Momoshiki's head trash talking. The village trying to kill him, cold hunting him down. Boruto hates his force now. <laughs> um, another day of Boruto destroying Gear 5 hype. It's not even close. Ain't no way Boruto's introduction is being more talked about than One Piece's biggest moments. Hmm, time skip. I mean, I mean, no matter how you slice and dice it, it's a time skip. So persons are. Let's be real. You have the Boruto fans, right? That will be, you know, tune in like myself. You know, gotta see this. Gotta read this chapter. Gotta review it. Gotta talk about it. You have the Naruto fans. Well, if you want to make that distinction, too. You have the haters. Will be tuning in as well to see what's going on you know so it's like yeah a bunch of persons are really going to tune in so eh, i guess not too surprising one piece as i said like well not as i said but it's more like a, a lot of persons are going to talk about it based on how they pushed it and marketed it and the fandom but it's like mm, eh, yeah, yeah. Only like a certain set of persons are really going to like watch the first Gear Five episode and then continue watching per se. Like you know, long time One Piece fans for the most part. Borders now officially rebranded as a new manga. Let's go, yes sir. Kishimoto writing Two Blue Vortex Chapter One. Listen, guys, I need to know even if you are not a Naruto fan. Well, sorry, if you're not a Boruto fan and you read the chapter, I want to know what your honest opinions on the chapter were this guy Borja didn't let go of his sword in any panel of the chapter he's not here to play games <laughs> yes sir yeah true though this is true this man didn't drop the sword at all like the man was, eh, eh. <laughs> yo Borja had such an insane globe bruh this obviously must be from like an early chapter of Boruto. The, the faces are so rounded. Ikemoto has definitely improved. Just Boruto. Yes, sir. And you guys really pointed out pointed it out to me because I didn't even take notice of the chapter title. But yeah, the fact that chapter one is just titled Boruto versus chapter one of Boruto and Artemis Generation says Uzumaki Boruto definitely is a nice touch. Let's see, skip 3 Tomoe Awakening, skip the revelation of Sasuke's past, gave her an underwhelming MS Awakening, consider her getting consider her getting despite being true in the anime, and gets done dirt to make Boruto Kawaki Kerak. The manga is not doing justice to Strauss character at all. Um, well yeah, they didn't show us the, th um, the 3 Tomoe Awakening in the manga, she already has one. Um, skip the revelation of Sasuke's past. Yeah. So, yeah, because she seems like she's found out in terms of everything. Given an underwhelming MS Awakening. Uh, I did a whole stream on this in terms of Serata's Manga Kyo Sharingan Awakening. I can see why persons would have an issue with it being underwhelming. Uh, well, or at least considered underwhelming. It's understandable to a lot of the other persons. It's kind of like the... It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of like the Khalifa and Kale effect of Super Saiyans in Dragon Ball Super. So I, I kind of understand where, <coughs> sorry, where persons may be coming from. Um, consider her getting this fight being shown in the anime. Yeah, I mean, it, at this point, the anime is just doing its own things. It's its own version of the story, so to speak. But it's still taking, you know, its primary story beats and most of its direction from the canon material obviously from the manga but it's doing it its own way of course that's more like due to the fact that again we've talked about it already like boruto started too soon the anime and they should have given it, given it more time before starting it like to be honest if boruto started no 2023 like i would imagine a lot of those anime changes to the story would not have happened and we'd have a more one-to-one -one, um Adaptation in terms of certain story beats or certain factors about the story like you know Sarada being tuning in the anime versus being getting in the manga so you know stuff like that 
Um, and this is the next thing. Like, we talked about this on the stream. Like, it could be a case where... Oh, I've been recording for this long already. <laughs> it could be a case where... It is the kind of inter -re interconnected relationship between maybe how the manga and the anime are going to do things. A lot of these things that this person is saying, more like the anime is going to touch on it more than lightly. Just uh, to again continue the, the whole relationship of you know introducing anime only content so the manga can build up. So, yeah. Um. It's pretty sad that Kawaki probably escapes the Daikoku tent to take a breather from all the hate he faces daily. They might be physically directing it at Borto, but he knows it's how they feel about him. Ah, that is an interesting way to look at it too. Hmm. I wonder if Kawaki really looks at it like that, honestly. I never really thought about it that way. Hmm. All right, I think I'll leave it at that. I've, I've kind of rambled on long. I didn't even realize that I'd been recording for so long. So anyway, that's basically it for now. I don't even know what I'm titling this video. I just wanted to kind of talk, get a better idea of how, you know, the you know new Borto manga is doing in the community, so to speak. Give a general idea of what's happening to the persons that might not be up to date generally. Not necessarily to do a review, but yeah, pretty much just that. So... Hope you guys are doing awesome. <laughs> Respect if you stayed on from my rambling this long. And leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next Boruto 2 Blue Vortex <laughs> TBV. <laughs> see you guys. Mm -hmm.